what's very normal for me and, and what I really uh, sourced from my mom and the way she parented, you know, um, eight children, is just really, I mean, she was fiercely independent, strong, funny, mm -hmm. um, drank a lot of cafe con leche in the morning, and we just kept, ran a tight ship. But it was fun and it was it was warm and it was just always you wanted to be home. There was always something on the stove, and so I feel like she's so nurturing to both of them, to mm -hmm. to Miles and to Jeff. Um, but ultimately, she's she's very very strong um, in in making sure that her son knows that he's loved and that he the world that we will do anything to make sure that he reaches his full potential. There's a sternness to Jefferson. I mean, he is a cop uh, and, you know, he really wants his son to realize that he deserves what he has. And he's not, he's not spending a lot of time telling Miles what he can't have. He really wants mm -hmm. him to have the most of everything. So when Miles is doubting why he's going to this academy or if these are his people or not, I'm like, these are your people. You belong here. You deserve this. At the same time, you have to really be responsible what you're doing and, and but at the end of the day it is love like i love i was thinking i was thinking about this i was like he throws his arms around his dad and hugs his dad at least five to six times in this movie mm -hmm. and i think that that is so important to see especially like when you have this young boy of color who is out there who has both of his parents who is in a you know bilingual house who is like has his mother's last name and not my last name has his uncle around the corner that he can go to I feel like Jefferson is just the representation of you know wanting to see this young this young boy of color have every opportunity afforded to him he possibly can mm -hmm. and the best way to show that is to give him love with a bit of sternness there's a little, there's a little you know but at the same time, it's like he's proud of this kid and he knows that he is the greatness that he, that he is because of his child yeah. and vice versa. That's the life, you know what I mean? Like those yeah. brownstones in Brooklyn behind those doors that reflect that life just like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's, that's not, it's not a new order of anything. It's something that ex has existed since. It's not new. The only thing that's new about it is I feel like finally, thank you, we're actually getting to see how I grew up, yeah, how you yeah, grew up, yeah. you know, and the, the idea that this is, you know, this would be somehow an anomaly, mm -hmm. like this is not the normal family. It's yeah. kind of a normal family, really normal, normal family I grew up with. And I love that about this yeah. movie because it's exactly what you said. It's not the new order, it's, it's just the order. Yeah, and uh, what I also love about this movie is, the, is that they really show really show that this this is a house of love like we are with each other with our arms around each other we you know we we love each other she's my mommy i'm my poppy you know what i mean like that's our son that's you know it's just it's just so refreshing to mm -hmm. see that and 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 within the streets of brooklyn like within new york within the place like where all these cultures come together and vibe and make a family and create love that's what it's about and i i don't know i for one Think about my 13 year old self <laughs> with this that came out when I was 13. Like, I would have gone nuts. Yeah. I'm going nuts now when I'm a grown man. But, yeah. like, it's just so great that people are open and, and are willing to have this in their lives because these lives really do exist. I kind of turned 13 when I watched this thing because I, like, could watch it over and over and over again. It's just so fresh. It's just so fresh in, 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 in every sense of the word. And it's just really great to know that like that little kid in Minnesota or that kid over there in the DR or that kid in London will feel like they see a representation of themselves and open up the possibilities of all the things that could happen for them. Like, it's great. And that some kids actually are gonna grow up with it. This is the their norm. Their first Spider-Man. This is their first Spider-Man yeah. and they're, it's just going to be like, oh, yeah, of course I could be Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. There's no stretch. There's no reach. It just exists. I'm watching it. It's being represented. Yeah. And that, to me, is one of the most exciting things about kids seeing it. It's just that that will be the reality.
I hope the conversation brings all kids of any color and background Absolutely. brown together. Like, I can't wait to see these kids who are, like, from all different backgrounds and, like, sitting in this theater having this discussion about, like, oh, my God, like, did you see how they spray-painted the spider? Like, how the logo is different? How the, the music out, is, it, you know, like, how all those things are going on. Like, I mean, it's going to completely, like... I think that that's why it's so great because it's called the spider verse because like the universe it's a universality that's going on and it's like it's shifting everything you know and um I think that that's something that's so great. I mean we're also mentioning the world of comic book the comic book structure and the animation is unlike anything I have ever seen I've never it's seen anything like gorgeous. this before and it's just really cool because it's all is a kind of a throwback and something futuristic at the same time. It is giving homage to what came before and at the same time bringing in the new generation of this. But it's, mm -hmm. it's really, it's just refreshing. And I just hope that we see all these different babies out on the street running around as Miles Morales. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like little Gwen Stacy's going all over the place, little spider pigs, you know what I mean? <laughs> spider I think it's going to be great. I think it's going, I think it's so necessary. You're part of this amazing, just group of powerful women. And again, there's no, there's nothing spectacular or, or abnormal about that. It's just mm -hmm. like, no, this is the everyday kind of amazing, strong woman. And there's, you know, Aunt May, all that legacy is just mm -hmm. spectacular. And she's so kind of, in this movie, she's just so badass. Yeah. I love that about yeah. her. And I feel like Rio is that and so is mm -hmm. Gwen. So you've got mm -hmm. like all these incredibly powerful women that it's really cool to be part of. This movie has everything. It I have really to say, does. I can't even think of it as an animated film. Right. Just as a film, standing on its own as a film, I actually really think it's so important and it, it's spectacular. You know, you have everything from this family dynamic, which is the foundation for everything, and love, and, and giving love, receiving love. And then you have this young kid who's about to enter um, a manhood, and then you have that thrown in with him becoming this... Superhero. superhero and then the other spider verse so it's about family it's about tribe it's about mm -hmm. you know filling fulfilling your potential as a human being and um, being supported and nurtured to be your best self there's so many different levels and layers to this movie that i think are just to speak to everyone not just 13 year olds not just um children of color not just you know old uh, an older woman or grandmother just everyone there's something for everyone in this movie and truly. if you're a true nerd like me you will not be disappointed honestly <laughs> like you will not be disappointed with this film It's just a new way to, 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 to bring them along. Like, I think, like, it's just a way, like, to open our minds. Like, fantasy is so needed and necessary in this day and time. Like, it's my favorite thing. It, it gives us a place of security. It makes us feel like there are heroes representing for us. And for this one, I think that it is really going to show um, another kind of universe uh, reflecting the times that we're in mm -hmm. and showing a different showing just a different vibe, showing some flavor. I keep saying, I was like, this movie has so much flavor on it that, you know, Lowry's couldn't even bottle it. <laughs> so it's like, oh, I just love that kind of thing. When you go in and you just feel like, you, it's just something that I think is just going to bring everyone together. It's so new, it's so fresh, it's so creative. That's more than enough. I it's think. spider sauce. Spider sauce, spider baby. Spider sauce. Trademark. Hey there, here's today's Daily Fact. Now the matrix code, comes from sushi. That's right. Those complex looking green digits scrolling down the screen in the matrix may look like mysterious code, but in fact they were symbols from a sushi cookbook scanned by the movie's production designer. Hmm. Now click here below to subscribe for more great content or on the side for another video.